He locked an island. I have a gift for you people. Thank you. Mommy, thank you. I appreciate this and God will continue to provide for you. Amen, my daughter. God bless you. Mommy, I don't like this. I don't like this type of dress. Really? Is that the thank you, mommy, that you're supposed to tell me? Each time I buy dress for you, you are fond of doing this thing. You are never grateful. Always telling me you don't like this, you don't like this. Have you started working for money? Look at your kid sister. Can't you behave like her? Anything I, I do for this girl, she's always very grateful to me. But you, you are very, very ungrateful. You cannot do the same thing. You are here blaming me. Why? Why are you like this? Why will you change? Mommy, I said I don't want it. Philo, come here! Philo, come here! Philo! Philo! Mommy, mommy. Can't you greet? Good afternoon, mama. Good afternoon. How is your school today? Fine. Uh, mommy, tomorrow is our Christmas party. And this school said that whosoever comes with this girl will be given a special piece. Really? Yes. Are you sure I must go with you? Because I'm so busy now. Yes. Are you sure? Good afternoon. So you're welcome. How was your day? Fine. Alright, go and sit down. Mommy, God is good. How are you? I'm fine, my daughter. God bless you. Mommy, something is happening in our school tomorrow. And we were told that anyone that brings either of his parents will be given a special gift. Ah! The same time, I cannot be in two places at the same time. I cannot afford to share myself. Ah, how do I do it now? Hey, mommy, you will come to me because I'm the first person. Don't be so selfish. You will not even let me finish before coming to it. Eh? Let me think of what to do first. Don't worry, mommy. Go with Philo. I will be here at least when she comes back. We'll share our gift together. That's my daughter. Which gift? You must be shocking. I'm not sharing my gift with anybody. Why are you so selfish and self-centered? Somebody is sacrificed for you now. You wouldn't want to listen. Hey, mommy, you will come to mine. Okay, maybe you will carry me to that Mommy, don't worry. I understand. Oh, you just behave like the way Jesus Christ will behave. God bless you. I think I will go with Agnes. Agnes is a beautiful girl. She's a good girl. Or like Philo, Philo has been a naughty girl and self setter girl. So I don't think I will go with her. I will go with Agnes. I think she will appreciate my going. She's a grateful girl. And she will make me happy over and over again. Okay. Agnes, let's go. Mommy, are you not going with me? Go with you? I choose to go with Agnes. If I go with you, I may regret going with you. So I choose to go with the one that is appreciating. Let me go with her. So let's go, my dear. Welcome back children, I hope you enjoyed the short movie. The title of the movie we have just watched is The Ungrateful Child. Our Bible text for today's devotional is Psalm 78 verse 18 to 22. Are you with your Bible? Hope you've gone through it. Let's answer the following devotional question for today. One. From our Bible says, in what way is Philo ungrateful as similar to that of the children of Israel? 2. How did Philo ungratefulness explain some manners? 3. Explain Adler's good attitude. 4. Which one will you prefer? Philo's attitude or that of Adler? 5. Each time you are ungrateful to mom and dad, 
on the little that can be provided for you. How do you think your parents will feel? Six. What is the consequence of ungrateful acts? According to our Bible text, Psalm 78, verse 18 to 22. Seven. Is your mom's final reservation to go with Agnes right? And if yes, why? Eight. What is the lesson you learned from today's movie? Make sure you submit your answers to your mom and dad, a Sunday school teacher, or Christian teachers as a memory verse for today's devotional is taken from Proverbs chapter 26, verse 1. As snow in summer and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seemly for a fool. Now, it's time for teachers' comments.